I'm going to win the Chicago Blackhawks a Stanley Cup. After every season, I'm going to spin a wheel and add one NHL All-Star to this team. Let's see how many All-Stars it takes for Chicago to win the Cup. Chicago's made some very questionable moves these past few days, so I'm thinking this might take a while. In Season 1, the team's finishing with a 44-30-8 record, 2nd in the Central and 10th in the entire league. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Kane led the way with 52 goals and 44 helpers for 96 points, while Mrazic picks up 31 wins with a 907 save percentage and a 294 goals against. Leading the entire league in points is Alexander Ovechkin, who's potting 60 goals while picking up 37 helpers for 97 points. And Carey Price, he's going to pick up 47 wins with a 921 save percentage and a 243 goals against. In the first round, we're taking on the Minnesota Wild. An OT winner from Greenway is giving mini game one. Four straight goals from the Wild is giving them game two, five to three. But in game three, a massive four goal third period is keeping Chicago in the series. In game four, a Golagovsky OT winner is going to put Chicago on the brink of elimination. And in game five, a Zuccarello hat trick is sending us home. When the playoffs came to an end, the Avalanche are beating the Montreal Canadiens in seven games. Yeah, that's definitely not realistic whatsoever. Patrick Kane led the way with five goals and five helpers for 10 points, while Nathan McKinn led all postseason scores with 10 goals and 18 assists for 28 points. And Darcy Kemper is going to be our Stanley Cup winning goaltender, 16 wins with a 900 save percentage and a 287 goals against. With our first spin, we're getting the chance at selecting one of the greatest goal scorers of all time as we're landing on the Washington Capitals. And of course, we got to select Alexander Ovechkin. This one's not up for debate. But the addition of Ovi actually made this team worse. 39-34-9, 6th in the Central, 19th in the entire league, and we're missing the playoffs. You hate to see it, you really do. Patrick Kane led the team in points with 85, consisting of 39 goals and 46 assists, while Mrazic's picking up 35 wins with a 909 save percentage and a 290 goals against. Leading the entire league in points is Austin Matthews, who's picking up 58 goals and 52 assists for 110 points, while Vasilevsky picks up 46 wins with a 920 save percentage and a 235 goals against. When the playoffs came to an end, the St. Louis Blues are sweeping the Toronto Maple Leafs to win the Stanley the Cup final. Busnevich led the way with 13 goals and 13 assists for 26 points, while Husso's picking up 16 wins with a 924 save percentage and a 237 goals against. This next spin's actually pretty ironic. We're going to be landing on the Ottawa Senators, and we all know who I'm taking. Alex Dabrinkat, welcome back to the team. You've been gone for a bit, but I got to bring you back here. And Dabrinkat was the missing piece as we're finishing 46, 26, and 10, second in the Central, and 15th in the entire league. Kane led the way with 60 goals and 60 helpers for 120 points. He was dialed in this season, and Mrazic, 36 wins with a 9-11 save percentage and a 274 goals against. Leading the entire league in points is Patrick Kane, but we already know what his numbers are, and Jake Ottinger, he's picking up 42 wins with a 9-08 save percentage and a 276 goals against. In the first round, we're going to be taking on the Dallas Stars. Dallas is taking game one in a back and forth affair 3-2. Chicago dominates game two with seven goals to even the series, but a late push from Chicago isn't enough in game three as Dallas takes a 2-1 series lead. A late goal from Murphy is evening up the series once again, and 2-3 period goals from Chicago is putting us one game away from the second round. And in game six, seven goals is more than enough and the Blackhawks are off to the second round. In the second round, we would match up against the Minnesota Wild. A 23 save shutout from Mrazic's giving Chicago game one. Three unanswered in the third from Minnie is going to even the series and the Wild control a game three with four goals to take a 2-1 series lead. Chicago avoids falling to a 3-1 deficit with a close 2-1 win and another Mrazic shutout puts us one game away from the conference finals. And in game six, six goals is more than enough and Chicago is off to the conference finals. And then the conference finals, they're going to meet up against the Edmonton Oilers. Mike Smith makes 24 saves as Edmonton takes game one. Gustafson scoring the OT winner in game two to even the series. And a close 3 2 win in game three is putting Chicago up two games to one. Two third period goals is going to put Edmonton on the brink of elimination. And in game five, Chicago is off to the Stanley Cup final. So here we are, the Stanley Cup final, way earlier than I expected. The Chicago Blackhawks are taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Toronto dominates game one with a statement game, including nine goals. And then in game two, two Kasha goals is giving Toronto a 2-0 series lead. Four unanswered in the third is keeping Chicago in the series with a 4-2 win, and then a late third period goal from Strom is going to even the series at two games apiece. Toronto isn't going down easy as seven goals are going to put them one game away from hoisting the cup, and in game six, Toronto is going to close at the series with a 5-2 win. Honestly, this is way better than I thought we would do, so we're making good strides. Dabrinkat led the way with 13 goals and 9 assists for 22 postseason points, while Nylander led all postseason scorers with 10 goals and 18 assists for 28 points. And Soupy, he's going to be the Stanley Cup winning goaltender, 16 wins with a 913 save percentage and a 255 goals against. With our next spin, I think we could use another solid defenseman, and we have the option at one as we're going to land on the Columbus Blue Jackets, and of course, we're going to select none other than Zach Wierenski. Surprisingly, Zach actually hurt this team as we're finishing with a 
a 42 31 and 9 record fifth in the central and 14th in the entire league patty kane led the way for the team with 25 goals and 58 assists for 93 points bergeron's leading all scorers with 42 goals and 66 assists for 108 points while jack campbell he's leading all goaltenders in wins 47 wins and a 9 11 save percentage and a 251 goals against in the first round we're taking on the colorado avalanche two johnson goals including the ot winners giving chicago game one a late goal from kubelik is going to force ot in game two but new hook's going to score the ot winner as the abs are evening up the series three on answer from the abs is allowing them to take a 2-1 series lead and a massive collapse from chicago in game four is putting them on the brink of elimination and in game five colorado is eliminating the hawks in a 5-2 win when the playoffs came to an end the colorado avalanche go on to defeat the toronto maple leafs in seven games to win the stanley cup dylan strome led the team in scoring with zero goals and five assists for five points while austin matthews dominated leading all postseason scores with 31 points consisting of 19 goals and 12 assists and darcy kemper he's our stanley cup winning goaltender once again with 16 wins while posting a 905 save percentage and a 293 goals against with this next spin there's really only two players to choose from as i'm landing on the los angeles kings i was contemplating drew dowdy but i think anze kopitar would be a great piece to this team he's a good two-way forward and i think that's what we're lacking and if you're enjoying the content so far make sure to subscribe i'm trying to hit 20,000 subs by the end of the month and every single sub helps a ton and that's exactly what we lacked as we went 51 26 and 5 first in the central and first in the entire league patty kane did his thing 38 goals and 49 assists for 87 points while mrazic picks up 44 wins with a 909 save percentage and a 276 goals against Connor mcdavid led all scorers with 99 points consisting of 37 goals and 62 assists while mrazic led all goaltenders and wins but we already know what his numbers are in the first round we're going to be taking on the anaheim ducks chicago starts the series off right with a 3-1 win in game one three first period goals are more than enough and chicago is taking a 2-0 lead the ducks avoid falling to a 3-0 deficit with a 5-1 win in game three but three on answer from the hawks is going to put them one game away from the second round and in game five three first period goals is all it's going to take and chicago's off to the second round in the second round of course we're going to match up with the minnesota wild once again minnesota is taking game one in a close 3-2 win a kevin fiala hat trick in game two is giving mini a 2-0 series lead now i understand that kevin fiala is no longer on the minnesota wild but i don't think ea is updating these rosters anymore so they're gonna have nothing for free agency so for now he's sticking on minnesota until i decide to change all the rosters a late goal from fiala is going to force ot and in ot kaprizov scoring the winner to put chicago on the brink of elimination and in game four a jared spurgeon ot winners complete in the sweep when the playoffs came to an end the minnesota wild are winning the stanley cup over the washington capitals in six games alex to led the way for the hawks with four goals and five assists for nine points while brad marchant led all postseason scores 15 goals and 20 helpers for 35 points while mark andre fleury he's hoisting another cup with 16 wins while posting a 943 save percentage now 174 goals against this dude was unreal with this next spin we're just casually getting the best player in the world and we're landing on the edmonton oilers and we're selecting connor mcdavid that's not really up for debate so the blackhawks were great once again a 48 28 and 6 record first in the central and eighth in the entire league ov led the way with 56 Six goals and 48 helpers for 104 points while Mrazic's picking up 39 wins with a 907 save percentage and a 267 goals against leading the entire league in points is Nathan McKinn with 39 goals and 66 helpers for 105 points while Vanacek's picking up 46 wins with a 917 save percentage and a 254 goals against in the first round of course we're taking on the Minnesota Wild two Taves goals is going to help us take game one a boldy OT winner in game two is going to even the series and a flurry shutout in game three is allowing Minnesota to take a 2-1 series lead game four was a back and forth affair but Chicago is coming out on top in a 6-5 win. Three first period goals alongside a 26 save shutout is putting the Blackhawks one game away from the second round and in game six another Mrazic shutout is sending us to the second round. In the second round we're going to match up against the Colorado Avalanche. Two Rantanen goals is going to lead Colorado to a game one win and then two Burakovsky goals including an OT winner is giving Colorado a 2-0 series lead. A Landis Cog hat trick in game three is going to put Chicago on the brink of elimination and in game four Colorado is going to complete the sweep in a 4-2 win. When the playoffs came to an end Tampa was winning the Stanley Cup over the San Jose Sharks in four games. Kopitar led the Blackhawks in postseason scoring with four goals and four assists for eight points, while Kucherov led all postseason scores with 14 goals and 15 assists for 29 points. And Vasilevsky, he's hoisting another cup with 16 wins while posting a 928 save percentage and a 231 goals against. So I think what this team is lacking is a true superstar goalie, and we're getting the chance to select one from the Winnipeg Jets. Of course, I'm talking about Connor Halbuck, and I think he's the missing piece for this team. So clearly, goaltending is what we are missing. 59-18-5, first in the Central and first in the entire league. We're winning a cup this season, I can guarantee it. Ovi led the way with 54 goals and 37 helpers for 91 points, while Halbuck's picking up 50 wins with a 926 save percentage and a 224 goals against. Leading the entire league in scoring is Nathan McKinnon once again, with 49 goals and 58 assists for 100. 
in some points while how buck leads all goaltenders and wins we already know what his numbers are once again in the playoffs we're going to be taking on the minnesota wild in the first round minnesota is taking game one on the back of a bro dean ot winner a late push from minnesota isn't enough and chicago is evening the series the minnesota wild are going to score another ot winner this time from felino and that's putting them up two games to one chicago is responding in game four once again with two murphy goals to even the series minnesota is going to dominate game five with six goals to push the blackhawks to the brink of elimination however the hawks aren't ready to fold as they're forcing game seven with seven goals and in game seven an ot winner from kopitar is sending us to the second round in the second round we're going to get our revenge against the colorado avalanche two tyler johnson goals are going to give us game one five unanswered including four in the third is giving us a 2-0 series lead and then a 4-2 win from chicago is going to put the avs on the brink of being swept colorado is avoiding the sweep in game four with a 4-1 win but in game five the hawks are closing out the series and we're headed to the conference finals in the conference finals we're going to match up against the calgary flames two third period goals from calgary is enough and they're taking game one a debrink at hat trick leads chicago to a 7-1 win in game two and then three first period goals are more than enough and chicago's taking game three a lone third period goal from lynn holmes going to even the series at two games apiece but a kopitar hat trick in game five is going to put chicago one game away from the stanley cup final and in game six a kuba lee hat trick is sending us to the stanley cup final so here we are the stanley cup final once again and it's time to get our revenge against the leafs you defeated us the first time but our team's much improved so we got this one in the bag two to break out goals are given chicago game one a late push from the leafs isn't enough and chicago's taking game two four to three toronto avoids falling to a 3-0 deficit with a close 3-2 win in game three in game four things were looking great for chicago they had a 3-0 lead but then four on answer from toronto is going to even up the series in game five chicago wasn't messing around four third period goals is going to put them one game away from hoisting the cup but the leafs aren't ready to fold as they're forcing game seven and a 4-2 win and in game seven three unanswered in the third is allowing chicago to win the stanley cup the breakout led all postseason and scores with 29 points consisting of 14 goals and 15 assists while Howbuck picks up 16 wins with a 922 save percentage and a 254 goals against. Once we got our elite goalie, everything changed. We've had a great team for a number of years now, but Halbuck was definitely the missing piece for this team. 